Hello again. Welcome back on uh, this channel. Today I want to take a look at this uh, balloon from uh, Create Design. It's the balloon that I found in the package when I bought the uh, multiband dipole from uh, Create Antennas, the, uh, specifically the model 730V1A, which works. Uh, from 40, 20, 15, 10, and 6 meters. Uh, recently, I installed a change uh, my antenna configuration on the roof. So I uh, dismantled the, this uh, one and uh, I uh, thought I have a look at the uh, balloon itself. As you can see here, I have terminated the uh, terminals that go to the dipole, to the two arms of the dipole, left and right with uh, resistive non-inductive load 200 ohms in parallel and this balloon is rated for frequencies from 5 to 60 megahertz impedance 50 ohm and 2 kilowatts um, obviously 5 to 60 because uh, the antenna as i said works starting from the lower the lowest the band which is 7 megahertz up to 50 megahertz okay i have already removed all the screws there are uh, one two three four five six and seven screws plus screws on the connector you have to remove all the all these ones and then uh, the balloon uh, is uh, easily opening in two pieces here we got just the plastic I gave it a clean because there were some spiders inside and this is uh, what we find inside this object so we can uh, see that uh, this is a uh, voltage balloon it's a tri -filler tray wires um, windings over this uh, road and uh, his model is the uh, roof rough voltage balloon um, I have to say with the antenna uh, the results were were good nothing to complain I can uh, tune the antenna quite well not always one-to-one -one SWR but um, still um, but then when I tested the uh, balloon itself I am testing with a nano VNA from uh, this port the S11 and uh, terminating this with 50 ohm Okay, if we terminate with 50 ohm, and I remind you that the antenna that this balloon should see is a V dipole. So a V dipole like this, like this. So it's uh, it's not horizontal. So it's more of a, in a, in the form of a V shape. Um, so it should be close to 50 ohm, the impedance at the feed point. So let's uh, switch on the uh, nano VNA and uh, take a look at the curve. I already have these uh, adapters and uh, let's go. Okay, this is uh, now uh, connected. VNA, VNA is calibrated and uh, this is the curve so as you can see still have the 50 ohm termination cross and i can see in 40 meters band an swr of two this is the curve in the smith chart and the impedance which the vna sees is 41 and a resisted real and 31 imaginary inductive so yeah 
I uh, wasn't expecting that. Uh, we can see that the curve gets uh, much better. But definitely, uh, it goes very steeply high on the lower bands. But as you can see, the 40 meter band is already on the uh, on the steep. I would rather have the curve all shifted to the left with 40 meters uh, hanging up here. Um, so the antenna, the next band for the antenna is four is 20 meters, which is this one here. And we can see 1.5 SWR here. And we are going towards um, the uh, a real X. That's uh, the reacting reactance reactive part of the impedance is going down and down. And next band is 21 at 15 meters, 1.37. The uh, reactive part now is uh, about less than 10 ohms and um, yeah it's getting better even though there's a bit of uh, transformation here next band is 10 uh, here we have more or less the same 1.35 uh, we have already changed to the uh, capacitive side of this meat chart and uh, but the SWR basically here is is not one to one because the reactive uh, sorry because of the uh, resistive part which is not seen as fifty ohm. So I'm wondering uh, what uh, kind of transformation uh, we have here. Um, also, we can see that I didn't mention before, and in respect to a normal voltage balloon. Uh, as I know, uh, there's uh, this coil across the terminals. I could try to uh, eliminate that, but and see the results. In fact, I will do it. Okay, before I uh, remove the coil, I uh, connected on the term to the terminals uh, this uh, multi-turn uh, trimmer resistor, and uh, wanna see. Basically, if I can have uh, a uh, better uh, response, better curve for uh, the SWR, and then uh, I'll uh, remove it and uh, measure the value, correspondent value. And we can see that uh, the value uh, is 54 ohms, uh, but this is on DC. Let's have a look on AC side. Okay, yeah, this is not very scientific uh, as I have just connected uh, the resistor with the wires, but uh, we can see that uh, the response on uh, AC uh, is uh, it's not too bad, 54 uh, real and 1.8 imaginary, pretty flat, uh, all up to 52 megahertz, stays uh, within 1.3, so it's, uh, let me say it's acceptable. And uh, finally, the coil is uh, removed. I got it here. It's just, uh, it's just a coil, air coil, and um, this is the response now. We can uh, check that uh, we still got the fifty ohm termination, and uh, look at the response right now. We are on uh, forty meter band. 1.12 this is pretty good the curve is much much better pretty flat so uh, I'm gonna now uh, uh, close the balloon without the coil and uh, connect it uh, like this to the antenna to the antenna outside I'm gonna put the antenna on a uh, on a mast uh, low over the ground a couple of meters three meters and we're gonna check the uh, SWR uh, curves on the different bands and uh, make some adjustments, hopefully to uh, have uh, a final uh, setup for this antenna. Here uh, you can see uh, the antenna installed on the mast in the garden. 
um, pretty low, 90 degree angle in between the two arms of the dipole. And here is the uh, result, the general result on uh, the four main bands. You can see it's pretty good, all the minimums that we have. And this is uh, the 40 meter band. We got three markers. The uh, bandwidth within two SWR is pretty wide. This is 20 meter. And once again, you got three markers uh, with the edge of, of uh, SWR2. And this is 50 meters, even wider. And finally, uh, not finally, but this is 10 meters. Pretty wide and nice. And finally, 6 uh, meter band, which is uh, done with the uh, parasitic element. This is the uh, this is a bit uh, difficult to tune up. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.